My name is Ron Ward. Uh, yesterday was my 62nd birthday wow. and also marks 40 years since God called me as a college student. I was lost in sin and the pursuit of the American dream. But Jesus met me through the study of Mark's gospel with Pastor Abraham Kim and gave me new purpose and his mission to live as a shepherd for young people. By Jesus' grace, I have served in the Chicago UBF ministry as a staff member for the last 37 years. I really thank God for granting us such well-prepared, relevant, inspiring presentations by Dr. Joseph Cho and Pastor Nehemiah Kim. Thank God for Dr. Joseph Cho. He loves God and God's people passionately and is highly competent in cyber communications. It is God's blessing to us that he is in our community. Thanks for the insightful presentation of Dr. Joseph. Pastor Nehemiah's presentation really resonated with me. When we have God's heart to love his people and depend on the word of God, God can do amazing things. We are so thankful to hear from Pastor Nehemiah. For those who may not know, the ministry he serves, Kwangju, Korea, is the birthplace of UBF ministry. Pastor Moses Yoon recently visited there and participated in the Sunday worship service and told me he was deeply moved by the spirit of God's servants there. We all owe a debt of gratitude to Kwangju UBF ministry for their prayers and their love for God's people all over the world. For my part, I would like to share some truths from God's word and some of what God is doing in Chicago UBF these days. We have just finished the study of 1 John. From the entire book, there are two verses I would like to share on briefly. The first is 1 John 4, 7. It says, Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Simply speaking, we are told to love one another. This is not human love. It is not something we try hard to manufacture ourselves. This is God's love. God's love is unconditional. It does not depend on the merit of the person we love. This love embraces sinful and unlovely people as they are. This love is sacrificial and self-giving. It takes the initiative to reach out first and seeks nothing in return. This love desires what is best for the other, especially their spiritual good. It is the love that gives hope to the despairing and even life to the dead. This love is not bound by time or space or any other barrier. As this love fills our hearts, it gives us power to overcome obstacles. As this love fills our hearts, we can overcome negative thoughts and dark feelings and express God's love even in this time. The source of this love is God. Since we have been born of God, he has already put this love in us. As we rely on him, this love grows and bears fruit in our lives. As I study the word of God, he gives me this love for one brother. So I could love him and serve him with the word of God and prayer. Though he has God's calling to serve gospel ministry, it was hard for him to support his family financially because of a past mistake. Since he made that mistake, he repented and has totally changed 
into a godly man. He's talented and personable, and he easily passes job interviews and gets jobs easily. But when his past mistake is exposed, he gets dismissed. In this way, he suddenly lost some good jobs, and this made his wife nervous. And at first, he reacted with bitterness and despair. But as we studied the word of God together, God's love worked in his heart, and he gained spiritual muscle. And gradually, he learned an overcoming spirit. In fact, he became such an overcomer that he applied to the same company at five different locations, even though the headquarters rejected his first effort. He became unstoppable with the love of God. And finally, he was granted an excellent job with full benefits. And his wife is incredibly happy. As he experienced this victory, he began to gain the wisdom and strength to serve God in many ways. This is the power of God's love. When this love fills our hearts, we can do the work of God. The second verse I want to mention is 1 John 5, 4, B, and 5. They say, this is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. Who is it that overcomes the world? Only the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. To serve the Lord, we need to overcome the world. What is the world? First John summarizes it as the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. It is also the power of the devil working through unbelieving people and demons, and especially through lies and false teachings. The power of the world is stronger than our wisdom and strength. But the power of the world is not stronger than Jesus. Through his suffering, death, and resurrection, Jesus overcame all the power of the world and sin and Satan. Jesus became our advocate who forgives our sins and gives us new birth as children of God. Jesus, the mighty Son of God, is greater than the one who is in the world. And as our champion, Jesus shares his victory with all who believe in him. The way to victory is to trust in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Indeed, faith in Jesus is the victory. We have all experienced this victory in many ways. In our Chicago area, our in-person worship service has experienced this victory during the last six weeks. About 35 to 40 people attend in person at 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. every Sunday. About 10 to 15 persons come at 5. I have primarily served the early service. We follow all the social distancing rules and wear masks, and disinfect diligently. Participants must make reservations and sit in their assigned seats. There are carefully orchestrated plans to enter and exit, and we do not allow people to congregate. Different microphones are used by prayer servants, musicians, messengers, and the worship leaders, and we have plexiglass shields in front of all who speak publicly. The Apostles' Creed is recited quietly by our members. And when we have praise songs or hymns, we hum together. When we began to follow all these guidelines, we felt uncomfortable and that the atmosphere was dampened. But as we have worshiped together, listening to the word of God, offering our prayers and praise to God, the power of God 
has been growing among us. The atmosphere has been more lively and joyful every week. When we finished First John chapter 5 last week and then sang, Faith is the victory, all the members applauded and gave glory to God, God who gives us victory. We truly experience victory that overcomes the world. We were full of praise and thanks to God. And the love of God circulated among us mightily, but quietly. We began to pray that more people would attend in person and share the joy of victory together in Jesus. At the same time, we have experienced the power of God's word working through our online service. One family has been joining our online services, including the CBF service, since March. We know them well, but we did not know they were joining our online service. Actually, they married in Chicago UBF 14 years ago and then joined another local UBF chapter, which they stopped attending a few years ago, but somehow they joined our online service. As they listened to the word of God regularly, their spirits were renewed. Now they're interested in becoming members of Chicago UBF again. Actually, there are many similar stories of God's work in those who join our online service. In a word, we are experiencing God's victory to overcome the world. Through this time of pandemic, I hope that we can all remember to love one another because love comes from God. And faith in Jesus Christ is the victory that overcomes the world. May God bless us all to walk in God's love and faith in Jesus in these times. Thank you.